This video shows how to construct a congruent angle using GeoGebra. This is my third microphone of the night. I think my recording setup may be haunted. We're going to do our best. To start with, I need an angle so that something else can be congruent to it. So I'm going to start by constructing an angle. To do that, while GeoGebra has a bunch of different things that I could use, I'm going to do it the way that we know how to do so far, which is a ray. So it's going to start at point A, continue forever passing through point B. And to be an angle, I need another ray that starts at point A, continues through it forever, passes through point C, and I deliberately didn't try to line up B and C. And then I need the ray I'm going to try to copy the angle to. So that's going to start at D. And here's E. And I put E kind of over here out of the way because it just defines where the ray is and I'm not going to use it in the construction. And now that I've got these rays, I need to use my compass tool. And I'm going to construct some circles that have a radius of AB. I'm going to have one that's centered at A because what that'll do is, is it'll put a point that's the same distance as A and B are away from each other over here on my other ray, on AC. And that point will let me later do some other things, but we need to, before we do that, go ahead and construct another circle with that same radius over here that starts at point D. And here's where I realize I have a little clutter. So what I'm going to do, and this is the cool thing about using technology, I'm going to grab point D and I'm just going to move it over here out of the way so I don't have as much clutter in my image because things were just overlapping and it was not great. So now that I've got things where I want them, I can take my compass tool and I can take the radius from B to F and then, oh, I forgot to put a point there, so I'm going to do that real quick. I need to actually mark the point where this circle intersects that ray. Then I can hop back to my compass tool, B to F, centered at point G, and now this smaller circle, which has the same radius as B to F over here, gives us two options for our new ray. We can either put it here at point H or here at point I, and those are both equally valid choices because they're both going to have that radius that's the same distance as it is over here, and that's what we need for the angles to be congruent. So I've now constructed two congruent angles.